crab reaches. So this is taking a page out of the animal flow book. We set up our crab by having our hands and feet apart and our hips equidistance between the hands and knees. So creating this light, lovely little M shape with our body. Hands, if you have a lot of wrist tension or shoulder tension, can go out to the sides of your mat, but eventually we wanna to start to working up where we're all the way in that external rotation, fingertips towards the back of the mat. Again, if that's not really happening today, fingertips towards the outside of the mat is a beautiful way to start this one. So to find our crab, we're gonna squeeze the glutes, eyes on the horizon, scooping the tailbone back so we're in this extended position. And then from here for our reaches, we're gonna bring left thumb to the chin. We're gonna squeeze up through the glutes like we're going for a glute bridge. We're gonna take our hips up and then when we're at the top of this bridge, our left arm is gonna go over bicep by ears. Our eyeballs are gonna go down on our fingertips. Notice how my shoulders dial down my back. My arm is engaged, there's no bend. And then I'm gonna lower down the way I came, keeping my arm nice and long. From there, I'm gonna reset my crab and I'm gonna to switch to my right side, pressing up and over, keeping the arm nice and long on our supporting arm. Inhale, lower, staying in control, especially the first couple times. Take a second to make sure that M shape is all set up so that you're not too far back or too far forward, and that'll really help to sustain the crab reach. If you need to pull it back, no problem. Go ahead and work on holding that reverse tabletop. Again, you can have your fingers towards the back or you can dial them to the outside of your mat, shoulders back, starting to open up through the front line and build that.